A British woman living in Australia has had an eight centimetre long parasitic roundworm still alive and wriggling removed from her brain. It's the first time the parasite has been found in a human. It's a specimen from a medical horror story, an eight centimetre parasitic worm that was pulled alive from a woman's brain. An MRI scan had revealed abnormalities, but neurosurgeons in Australia who operated were stunned by the cause. I used my chimmer holding forceps to lift out what was there, and to my shock, there was a linear, wiggling, red uh, line. And my registrar said, is it an artery? And I said, of course not, not here. But I looked, and once that all passed, we could see it was moving. And I said, please, just take it out of my forceps. The 64-year-old woman who hasn't been named started developing mysterious symptoms in January 2021. They began with abdominal pain and diarrhoea, followed by a constant dry cough, fever and night sweats. By 2022, she was suffering from forgetfulness and depression. Doctors now believe the symptoms were caused by immature parasites moving from her stomach into her lungs and eventually her brain. The roundworm is common in the Australian carpet python. It's thought the woman was infected after eating a type of native grass that had been contaminated, the first human case of what's normally an animal parasite. A cuddly little marsupial may come along and eat some grass which is contaminated with the python faeces and the eggs of the parasite that enters the, the mammal or marsupial and it starts to develop further in that animal. Then another carpet python comes along and consumes that animal and now has a more mature form of the parasite in itself and the life cycle gets completed. So that's what normally happens. We as humans are not involved. This was a pure accident. The woman is responding to treatment. Doctors have praised her courage. Thomas Moore, Sky News.